It's time for the Rastinkle Show! Starring Rastinkle, this week's special guest, the scoundrel Lord Morgan. And now, here's Rast! Hi, everybody, it's Rastinkle! <laughs> the long, hot summer is finally over, and football season is back! hey <laughs> What did you do all summer, LB? What the hell could I do but sit in a tub of ice water? It was hot! <laughs> you ain't kidding, boy! <laughs> well, let's get on with this week! It was so hot! Oh no, oh my god! It was so hot, the hookers were buying blowjobs! No, stop it, stop it! It was so hot, Brett Favre was texting photos of his popsicle! Oh god! It was so hot, Lindsay Lohan checked into rehab just for the air conditioning. <laughs> it was so hot, Casey Anthony took her kid to the pool and got away with it. Oh, God, that's terrible. <laughs> It was so hot, Ray Lewis killed a pitcher of ice water. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? Get it? He's a known murderer. <laughs> Remember when he killed all those people? That's a low blow, Dinkle. <laughs> Just go ahead and give your worthless picks. And away we go. Kick off this year's NFL picks in Chicago when the Bears host the Atlanta Falcons this Sunday at Soldier Field. I hope poor little Jay Cutler doesn't start crying again like he did in the playoffs last year. I can't believe they didn't run that son of a bitch out of town for that bullshit. What a little crybaby. Rastinger will take the Falcons by one and a half over the idiot Chicago Bears. And that brings us to your first luck of the week. Even though I hate Michael Vick and the Philadelphia Eagles. What a miserable, godless town. I gotta take the so-called dream team to trounce the St. Louis Rams on their home field this Sunday by four. I just don't see how the Rams will be able to keep up with these guys. I mean, seriously, this is easy money, kids. I'm also going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by one over the Detroit Lions. I have high hopes for the Lions this year, but we'll keep an eye on them for now. In Kansas City, I'll take the Chiefs over the Bills by six. And uh, I'm going to take Indianapolis to fall to the Texans in Houston by eight. Without Peyton Manning, they're going to have it rough. All right, let's see. What else? Oh, sorry, Tennessee fans. I don't think the Titans are going to pull it out this week in Jacksonville. I'll take the Jags by one. You skipped a game, idiot. No, no, I don't think so. What about the Baltimore Ravens? Oh, right, right. All right, then. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Lord Baltimore's pick of the week. Oh, how I've waited for this. The wretched Pittsburgh Steelers are coming back to Baltimore to once again taste the forearms of Ray Lewis and the Ravens. <laughs> Heinz Ward's pretty dance moves will be no match for the crushing Ravens defense. Ed Reed will pound his silly ass like a filthy whore on Dollar Day. <laughs> he can go cry about it to Chaz Bono for all I care. <laughs> die, Steelers. Die like the pitiful scum of the earth you are. Die! Die! <laughs> and that brings us to your second lock of the week. Sunday night, the New York Jets host Tommy Romeo and the hapless Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be great to see the Jets walk all over these maroons. There's no way the Cowboys will match the enthusiasm of the Jets in New York that night. Not a chance. I'll take New York by four and a half. Lock it up. And now to your Monday night games. You can count on the New England Patriots to make an example of the Miami Dolphins this Monday night. <laughs> this one is easy. I'm locking up the Patriots over the Finns by seven. <laughs> that's just, that's just ridiculous. All right, for game two, another easy one. The Raiders will surely lose to the Broncos by three in Denver. This is almost too easy. It always seems easy until you've had your ass handed to you. Yeah? Well, let's keep your wife out of this. Why, you little son of a... <laughs> 
This is Rash Daniel saying, I'm going to laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> we say it's a great for the whole family. Just email me at rashdinkle at gmail.com. We'll see you out there. Hey, how about a Lord Baltimore t-shirt, you little filthy sons of bitches? <laughs> what?